Hey guys, I'm Miss Optig, and today I'm going to take you through basic numerals. So when we're talking about basic numerals, what we're talking about is our real numbers. So none of these, um, you know, 1.3 times 10 to the power of 2. We don't want to have this 10 to the power of anything when we're talking about our basic numerals. So this example that I already have here, if we were to turn this into a basic numeral, what I would do is I'm going to take my 1.3, I'm going to chuck a couple of extra zeros on the end so I can move my decimal place. So I can do that because this is a positive number up the top here. If it was a negative number, so our 10 was to the power of negative 2, I would put my zeros at the front so I can move my decimal place in the opposite direction. Because we have 10 to the power of positive 2, my extra zeros go out the back and I'm going to move my decimal place back two places. So this is one and two. So this is where my decimal place is going to go. And I'm going to end up with 130. So 1.3 times 10 to the power of two equals 130. Now, if I have 4.9 times 10 to the power of negative two, like I said, I'm going to put a few extra zeros out the front so I can move my decimal place. Now, that negative 2 tells me I'm going forwards with my decimal place. So I go forward 1, 2, and that's where I'm going to put my decimal place in. So I've got 0 0.049 is 4.9 by 10 to the power of negative 2. So let's do another couple examples. So if I have the number 3.72 times 10 to the power of 3, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a number out again, so 3.72. And because that 10 to the power of 3 has a positive 3, I'm going to put my extra zeros out the back. And now I'm going to move my decimal place. So that 3 tells me I'm moving it back 3 places. So 1, 2, 3, and that's where it's getting moved to. So 3.72 by 10 to the power of 3 equals 3,720. If I have the number 5.814 by 10 to the power of negative 4, I'm going to put my extra zeros out the front because of that negative 4. So I'm going to put a few zeros out there and then... 5.814. Now that decimal place is going to move forward four places. So it's going to go one, two, three, four, and that's where my decimal place is going to end up. So I'm going to end up with 0 0.0005814. So 5.814 by 10 to the power of negative 4 equals 0.0005814. So now I'm going to write up a couple of examples for you to have a go at. Once I've written them down, pause the video, have a go, and then you can press play and we can go through the answers together. All right, so this first one, we can see that our 10 is to the power of a positive number. It's to the power of positive 5. So we're going to put our number here, our 3.219, out the front. So 3.219. And then we're going to chuck some extra zeros on the end so we can move our decimal place. Now that 5 tells me that I'm going to have to move my decimal places back 5 places. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that's where it's going to end up. So our final answer is going to be 321,900. And for the second one, we can see that our 10 is to the power of a negative number. And again, that tells us that we're moving our decimal place forward. So we're going to chuck our extra zeros out the front before we start. 
Now, that negative three tells me that I'm moving my decimal place forward three places. So we go one, two, three, and that's where we're going to end up. So we have 0 0.00921 as our final answer. And that is how we convert back into basic numerals.